One local author is holding a writing contest for third and fourth graders. The winner will have his or her story published as the next book in the Casey and Bella book series. Joining me now is the author of the children's book series, Jane Lavasio. Thank you very much for being here. Thanks for having me. Thanks. What brought about the idea for the writing contest? Well, Sherry, I've been to about 150 schools, mostly in the New York and New Jersey area. And every time I'd go to schools, I would get these great ideas from children about where Casey and Bella should go to next. Casey and Bella go to outer space. Casey and Bella go back in time. And so I thought, well, you know, children have unlimited imaginations and potential. You know, wouldn't it be wonderful to have a writing contest in search of my next book where I'll actually co-author a book with a child? So in September, the Casey and Bella writing contest, national writing contest, was launched. And since then, I've just gotten amazing entries from children all across the U.S. of where Casey and Bella should go. And this April 15th, it actually ends, and the winner will be chosen, and that story will then be published as the next book in the book series. So April 15th is not only the tax deadline, it's your deadline. Exactly. So get your Casey and Bella stories in so that you have an opportunity to become a published author. There's also a $500 cash prize, uh, but it's more important that a child knows that they can become an author even in third or fourth grade. For those who don't know about Casey and Bella, tell me a little bit about them. Well, Casey and Bella are actually my real dogs. I have a picture here. Uh, they couldn't be with us today, but Casey and Bella are uh, real dogs. Casey is a Jack Russell Terrier, and Bella is a Yorkie. And I based the book series on my dogs because I thought they would make great characters to teach moral lessons, uh, and they're also adorable. And children get really excited that they can actually meet the real dogs at events, such as this Saturday at Barnes & Noble in Edgewater. The real Casey and Bella will be there, paw print signing books for children. So. Is the book series the first time you've done any writing? Well, I, I majored in elementary education and psychology at Boston U, and then after I graduated from college, I took a sales job because, you know, you take the first job you can get, and I've always had a need to do something creative with children, so that's probably where this all came from. And then when I woke up one day, I thought, you know what, I'm just going to go for it. Um, I'd love to get these books published, and then my major goal is to start the Casey and Bella Foundation for Children. So actually, each book in the Casey and Bella book series supports a special charity for children that's touched my heart in some way, and that's what keeps me motivated and inspired to get out there every day and talk about Casey and Bella. Which charity will the, the book that the child writes benefit? Well, this book that's coming out next year that's co-authored by a child will support Autism Speaks, and that's because I've been personally affected by autism, and when going to the schools in New Jersey, autism is 1 in 65, and it's actually 1 in 150 in the nation, so the statistics are so much higher in New Jersey, um, so I thought what a great way to create awareness through my books uh, than with the Casey and Bell book series. So, Where have Casey and Bella been so far? Well, Casey and Bella have been everywhere since... Um, since the beginning, they've been to New York City, they've been to Hollywood, they've been to carnivals, they've been to a farm, they've been to Boston, uh, they've been to an aquarium, and they've been to schools. That's some of the other titles that are coming out in the next couple of years that have already been written. Uh, Casey and Bella go to New York City, and Casey and Bella go to Hollywood are now in stores at Barnes & Noble and Borders. And then I'm very excited to find out uh, where Casey and Bella are going to go to next with the writing contest. That book is going to be published next year as the third book in the Casey and Bella book series, and that'll be co-authored by a child, so that's really exciting. For the kids who are going to submit, what are you looking for? Okay, I always tell children that it's not being judged on writing ability because third and fourth graders actually differ a lot. Uh, it's being judged on creativity and originality of the idea. There's three questions as a guide that are on the website and in the instructions. It's where do Casey and Bella go, who do they meet, and what do they learn? And children just have to answer those questions in less than 400 words. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand their story, make it rhyme, and actually have a professional illus illustrated by Ija Jasuna, my illustrator, and it'll be published through my publisher, Big Ten Books. And they'll get credit on the dedication page of the book so that they feel, you know, that they are an author. Once you pick the kid, will there be some sort of announcement? Yes, actually, on uh, May 15th, the winners will be announced. There will be four finalists and one grand prize winner. They will all be contacted, and those winners will also be presented a plaque and certificate at their school so that they can feel proud that they, you know, accomplished such a great goal of becoming an author. Now, you said it's a national contest, so you've gotten entries across the country. Yes, you know, I have gotten entries everywhere from California, Texas, um, Canada, because it does include Canada, but the majority of the entries are from New York and New Jersey, where I've spent the majority of the time talking about Casey and Bella. Um, you know, as a local author, I spent a lot of time in the schools, and so I've gotten the majority of the entries from there. And each year, 
Um, I'm hoping the contest will grow. I would like to make this an annual thing since I've gotten so much great feedback from parents and kids, and kids just get so excited to come up with their idea of where Casey and Bella could go to next. So. Well, it sounds like a lot of fun, and I wish those who have entered good luck. Thank you. Thanks so much for having me here. And if you want to meet the real Casey and Bella and get your book paw print signed, you can come to Barnes & Noble this Saturday, April 4th in Edgewater to meet the real Casey and Bella. So thanks so much. Sounds like a lot of fun. Thank All you right. very much for being here. Thank you for having me. Take care. And if you would like more information about the writing contest, just log on to www.caseyandbella.com. And don't go away because we'll be...